Welcome back to Liberty Marksman. What the hell? You stole my thing. Yeah, I did. Today we're going to be talking to you about Jerry McCulloch. Michalak. 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 I got a thing with Michalak's name. I <laughs> cannot get it straight ever. However, we heard some good things about this muzzle brake. And I just said, you know, screw it. Let's get one and let's try this thing out. Because if it's as good as they say, I want one. Mm -hmm. Especially for the price. Yeah, you, you, know, you look at some muzzle brakes, they're 80 100 bucks. So There was a little stock issue, so we had to go right to Jerry's website to get it, but he had it and shipped it out to us, and we had it within two days. Mm -hmm. um, we did a little range time with it, but before we show you any of that, we're going to show you how to install it real quick. Yeah, it's not rocket scientists, but there are a few things you do need to know, because you can clock it a little bit, depending on if you're a right-handed or left-handed shooter. We so, did not shoot it clocked. No. Uh, I found absolutely no reason to clock it. But mm -hmm. uh, if you're inclined to do so or try it, uh, let me know how that works out because I'm. Yeah, we'd be interested. Keep it straight up and down. Yeah, let's show you. Show you that. All right, a couple of tools to start out to get your original muzzle brake and install this one. It has a quarter inch punch, a five inch, five eighths wrench, and an armor's wrench. You mean this armor's wrench? See what happens when you have leftover Cerakote? Yep. And you don't want to burn it? So, we'll start out taking this muzzle brake off. Unspread it. With our lock ring. It does follow the standard righty tighty lefty loosey. Now, on his locking nut, we actually have a shoulder that he wants installed as opposed to the other side. There's no shoulder, just a taper. There's just a, a relief cut. He wants that installed towards the barrel. So we're basically just going to run this all the way down to the barrel. And on the top of the brake, we'll notice that we have the back two slots are cut just a little bit deeper. This is the portion of the muzzle brake that goes to the top of the barrel. So we're going to thread this on as far as we can get it back. Now you want to get it all the way back as far as you can so that in the event that gun tips over or whatever impact, you don't bend just the threaded portion of your barrel. So I can't quite get it to bring it in at this point, so I have to back that off to the top. Now we're going to run the lock nut up by installing the quarter inch drift pin, making sure that you're clocked relatively to the top side. We're going to tighten our back nut, and that's it. That's installed. I'll give you a closer look here. can totally understand it's super simple to change one of these yeah anybody with an armor's wrench can can do this uh, yeah a couple of actually points. you could do it really with a, a wrench that's got flats on it yeah um but we really do want to stress the point that where you do have the gap between the nut and the barrel that you are losing the support that you gain from shouldering it against the barrel so just keep it in mind you're probably not going to bend it but if you are running drills and you're really rough it there is a potential there. Right. And you know, Jerry is probably one of the fastest shooters out there, if not the fastest shooter. Uh, part of that is that he's got some of the finest tuned equipment that that, that you can yep. that money can buy. He's been doing it for forever, it seems. And the, uh, the, the price point and the ranking of, of this muzzle brake can't be beat as far as I'm concerned. No, and it's this, price range, you're not gonna find anything. This better. won't be the only one that I own. I had a few other ARs that would definitely benefit from it, and as far as reacquiring the target, you're not going to get anything better than that for the money. Yep. Well, pay attention when we watch the video. Watch at our shoulders. You'll see a big difference between how much recoil. Not that there's not a lot of recoil in 223, but when you actually watch it on film, you'll see how much more movement there is on, on the shoulder, and and pay attention to the muzzle rise because we notice with this brake that 
you're not getting that flip up, but you're it's it's like a straight line. It's more linear than anything. Absolutely so, linear. Um, we're really impressed. They also make it in 308 now. Everybody's out of stock in that right now as of late March 2016, but yeah. as soon as we can get one, we're excited to try that just on how well this performed. So let's take you guys out to the field and take a look. Check it out. Tell us what you think. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is uh, back to the standard A2 birdcage. Birdcage. Flash hider. Somebody's been playing. Damn kids. Takes a little longer to get a target. Yeah. Comparatively to just that. You get quite a bit more. I can see a, a, quite a bit more recoil. Yep. Just in your shoulder. But I'm not getting beat to crap over there. So that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Here. This is our first Jerry Mitchellek muzzle brake test. Muzzle brake test. We'll see what it's got. That muzzle doesn't even move. It seems pretty solid to me, and it's really, really easy to reacquire. Drop the plate. I'll tell you what, standing behind this camera, you get beat to crap with the gas coming off that thing. I'm really impressed with the limited amount of rise. It doesn't move. I think Jerry did a really good job because I'll tell you what, feeling it's one thing, seeing it's another. You definitely feel the blast of air oh, from man. behind the camera. It sure does. It sure <laughs> does.